Welcome to our journey into the heart of Rome's most enigmatic symbol, the she-wolf. Is it a myth or reality? Let's uncover the truth together. Join us as we delve into the enigma of this iconic symbol. By the end, you'll uncover verified historical facts and intriguing details that will transform your understanding of Rome and its legendary she-wolf. The she-wolf statue, known as Lupa Capitolina, stands proudly in the Capitoline Museums in Rome. Made of bronze, it measures about 75 centimeters in height and 114 centimeters in length, but what secrets does it hold? Join us as we delve into its captivating history. The she-wolf's origins are shrouded in mystery and legend. Traditionally, it's believed to be an Etruscan masterpiece from around 500 BC. Yet, modern scholars are divided, with some arguing it could actually be a medieval creation from the 12th century. Legends say the she-wolf nurtured Romulus and Remus, the twin brothers who, according to myth, founded Rome. The story goes that Romulus and Remus were abandoned as infants by the Tiber River, left to perish. Miraculously, a she-wolf discovered and nursed them until a shepherd took them in and raised them. This tale of survival and resilience underscores the divine destiny that Rome was believed to possess. But is there more to this tale? Let's delve into the myths and uncover the layers of history. The she-wolf is more than just a statue. It symbolizes strength, nurturing, and the very essence of Rome. But what does it truly represent? Let's explore its symbolism and significance. This iconic figure embodies protection, unity, and the enduring spirit of the city, echoing the tales of its legendary founders Romulus and Remus. Did you know that the she-wolf has been a symbol of Rome since ancient times? It has appeared on coins, in literature, and even in modern pop culture. Today we'll uncover some lesser-known facts about this iconic figure. To begin with, the she-wolf has been depicted on ancient Roman coins, symbolizing the city's legendary origins. Secondly, it's interesting to note that the twins, Romulus and Remus, were not originally part of the statue. They were added much later by Antonio Pollaiuolo in the late 15th century. Moving on, another fascinating aspect is the ongoing debate about the statue's origin. In 2006, an analysis suggested that the she-wolf might actually be a medieval creation, dating between the 8th and 14th centuries AD, rather than an ancient Etruscan artifact. This revelation sparked controversy and added another layer of mystery to the statue's history. Lastly, the she-wolf is one of the most reproduced statues in history. You can find replicas of it all around the world, from universities to public squares, each one a tribute to Rome's enduring legacy. In modern times, the she-wolf continues to inspire and intrigue. Artists, historians, and tourists alike are drawn to its mystique. As we conclude our journey, we leave you with this thought. The she-wolf of Rome, whether myth or reality, remains a powerful symbol of the city's enduring legacy. Now we would love to hear from you, what do you think? Is the she-wolf a myth, a historical reality, or perhaps a blend of both? Share your thoughts in the comment section below, we'd love to hear your perspective. And if you found this journey fascinating, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe for more captivating historical tales. Until next time, keep exploring, stay curious, and join us for more intriguing stories from history.